Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. Ah, here we are at the multiplying decimals by powers of 10 mastery check. And as you can see, there are eight problems on your screen that you are going to solve here to see if you have multiplying decimals by powers of 10 down on your own and you have it mastered. If you're looking for more of an instructional video or help, I dropped the link to my instructional video down in the description. And then you can come back to this mastery check to see if you have it mastered. If you're not sure how mastery checks work on my channel, you should have something to write with and something to write on. And when I say pause here in a few seconds, you're gonna press pause, solve these eight problems. When you have them solved, press play and check your work with mine. Your goal out of eight, you should have six, seven, or eight correct out of the eight to show that you have mastered this. Remember, use your decimal, move the decimal in order to push everything to the correct place value. Okay, so have what you're writing on and what you're writing with ready to go and go ahead and press pause. Welcome back. I'm assuming you have those eight problems answered, so we're going to go through the answers now. So number one, we have three and five tenths times a hundred. So two zeros, move the decimal twice, goes right here, and we get 300. 50. And if you think about it, this is right between 3 and 4, so we'll round it up to 4 times 100 is 400. That would be our estimate. And is our actual product close to 400? Yes, we have a reasonable answer. For example, if you move the decimal to the left two times, you would be way off. You wouldn't be anywhere near 400, our estimate. So you would know something went wrong. Number two, 100 times 6 tenths. Two zeros, move the decimal twice. One, two. Fill with the zero. We have 60 as our product. Number three, 19 and 9 tenths times 10 to the fourth. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10,000. Look at our exponent. So we move our decimal four times. One, two, three, four. Got to be careful with this one. So we get to 199,000 as our product. Number four, six thousandths times 10 to the second or 10 squared. So we move the decimal twice, one, two, and it ends up between the zero and the six. So we get six tenths. That's our halfway mark. Hopefully at least three or four correct out of those four. Let's move on to number five now. Seven and 75 hundredths times 10 to the third or a thousand. Move it three times. One, two, three. Fill. And we get 7,750. Number six. Five and two tenths times 10. One zero, move the decimal once, and we get 52. Now oh, that kind of looks like a 62 there. I'll rewrite it, 52. Number seven, we have 475 thousandths times 100. So we have two zeros. So we need to push everything to the left twice, and we do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. And the decimal is now between the seven and the five, so we get 47 and 5 tenths. And then number eight, nine and 1 tenth times 100, or 10 squared, or 10 to the second power. Exponent of two, so move the decimal twice. One, two, fill with the zero, and we end up with 910. So there are your eight products for multiplying decimals by powers of 10. Again, hopefully at least six, seven, or eight correct. Hopefully you hit that mark. If not, make sure you are checking where you're making your mistake, where you're getting stuck, and make corrections to that. Okay, that's important to make corrections. Don't just give up if you don't get the six, seven, or eight. Do something about it, okay? 
So next, we will move on to dividing whole numbers and decimals by powers of 10. Um, I will see you over at those videos. Thanks for watching.